for Dauntless. It's a new game that's been released by Epic Games, if I'm correct. So far, I do not know what you do here. I've played a little bit just to try and get the controls done. I played the tutorial. It was okay, not my favourite game, but this is only the tutorial. Things could get crazy. Uh, so it's loading in here. <coughs> um, this broadcast will be put on. Well, it's been made by PlayStation. Well, on PlayStation, and it's been uploaded to YouTube. Um. <laughs> so my character right here. Looks very athletic. So Marcus here doing. What'll it be, Captain? Good mm. luck, Cap. Ship's good to go. Fair winds, Captain. So it give us anything. <laughs> uh, I'm not spending any money on this game just yet. Good to see you. Versatile sword is capable of many different types of attacks. From slashing to sla to staggering, a good choice for slayers of all skill level. These are the ones that I like and have. Built for speed, the chain blades let slayers dash out in, dash in and in and out of melee range. Harassing beam behemoths with light rapid hits, excellent to inflicting elemental debuffs. Hammer. Pairs powerful with short range blasts with hard heavy hits for top tier staggers, interrupts and breaking beam of armor. Patience is power with this slow building devastator. Great for experienced slaves who want to break us to want to break many parts of armor as they come. A war pike? Uh, the wall pike excels at opening wounds, exposing behemoths to massive damage, and is versatile enough for almost any situation. Ostidian repeaters. Ostidian repeaters inflict lighter damage at range, but strike hard with empowered shots when fighting close quarters. Oh, these look cool. A for strikes, strikers, channel your inner power with a pair of hard hitting gauntlet weapons that pull up behemoths into submission with staggering impacts. Here, I might fight. try these. Hi there, Slayer. I'll be seeing you. Okay, I guess this is my first challenge, I guess. I've got no one on my right now since I'm recording this fairly late. Oh, I think this is like the back alley of the city. So far, I'm really enjoying this. I like the freedom that the game gives to you. So like, the layers of detail that they've put to like the map so far. This is only the first bit, it's like the hub. Hopefully this game can continue to push out good updates. It's looking good right now though. I think it should do fairly well for the Need first something. few days. Until next time. Oh, I didn't know that they have challenges. from the frontier oh uh, this is what I can get oh I really want those the strikers oh well Weapons I guess they'll be a bit to too OP to start at a game oh I like how it has like leaderboards in this to encourage people to play more and more This is a good idea. 
Good to see a fellow um, captain. She does not look PG. A good eye on you. Uh. Oh, sorry, dog. <laughs> uh, that's nice. Oh, departing soon. Is this a challenge? Yes, it is. Okay. Hi, guys. Okay, fighting the behemoth. So my first time fighting one other than the tutorial which went down fairly fast but obviously that's just a tutorial isn't it so it's probably going to be a bit harder hopefully these slashes will do okay though yeah i'm ready okay it's kind of reminding me of like apex how you have to always like team up with like you have a do with a squad or you end up having to do it with random people anyway so it's encouraging teamwork as well <laughs> looks so cool in those poses right now yo how'd you roll? I want to roll Boosty feet. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe I shouldn't be wasting these. <laughs> I don't know the game just yet, guys. Don't roast me in the comments. Oh, face palm Marshall seems to know what he's doing. Hopefully, he can carry this bot. Come on, let's get in there. Gonna go for a slash. And another slash. We're gonna go for a dodge. Yeah. Oh, well, that car can stay in long range. So it's not opening me. Not gonna open me to as much damage I can. Uh, get over here. Who does this guy think he's trying to kill? Okay, I think we're doing fairly well right now. Barely taking any damage. My stamina is going down. I also like how in this game, it gives like a kind of realistic vibe and also not. But obviously this does not look realistic. Like the way that they've set it out makes it feel like, like this could actually happen. I'm not really good at this yet. I guess we'll try and put my lung green and the squares to close. Yo, teammates are getting in there. I think it's best to just stay at long range with my weapons. Get close. Yeah. my armor and my long range attacks so like yeah uh, there's one negative to this that it does take a really long time for people to die well for like the behemoths to die I guess that also adds to the play time which I guess they would want to push up in a game like this. But it kind of feels like an RPG, but not at the same time. 
which you can tell that Epic Games is also meant to do with this. And it's taken a long time for these guys to die. You see the scars and all that. I do wonder though, why, why do we have to build them? This is a completely secluded area of the, like the map. I don't see how it would be harming anyone. Okay, this is first guy. My rank S, team rank S++. Took us four minutes. It's not that bad. I have no idea what this means. Um, I wonder what we do now. So this, this must have something to do with the story. Maybe it's gonna progress us along a bit more. Okay, um, guys, just while we're waiting, um, before I end the video, um, what weapon would you like to use? I'll show you again. Let's check. There's the sword, the chain blades, which is the one that I favour at this moment, the hammer, the axe, the war pike, the Ostian repeaters, and the Aether strikers. I probably like the A for strikers and the chain blades the most. But that's my opinion. And I want to see I want to hear down in the comments what yours are. So um thanks for watching. And um, once again please remember to leave a like and subscribe and share this video with some of your friends. And um peace out.